My name is Dan Paul. I am the COO, General Manager of Southfield Classics. We are a low volume manufacturer of replica electric vehicles. We are certified registered manufacturer. We are one of the first in the United States to have the EPA and CARB certification on a replica manufactured vehicle. That green truck out there we took to SEMA, they actually got the EPA testing and CARB certification, submitted all the paperwork last week, we're all clear. Our vehicles will be equipped with the Amper EV Atom Drive system. We chose to use their system with a Cascadia Motion IM225 motor. It actually produces all the power that we need, does everything, and you need safety features that are built in for manufacturing. In order for us to be a manufacturer, everything has to be warrantied. We use all certified new components. We were previously a retrofit company. That's what we did before I was hired on. We built that first proof of concept vehicle, which is the SC31T. Took us about four months to build. Where our intention is to build and produce high-end resto mod electric vehicle. That's what we do. We're hot rod guys. That's what I've always done. Been in the business my whole life. We build hot rods. There's the SC31T. It is a full resto mod. It's on a Spec 3 chassis from Roadster Shop. So it's got an independent front suspension, bare brakes, four nine inch rear end. What we did find is that the Ampere EV battery packs weigh about the same as the 350 Chevrolet dressed out. So the weight is all the same. So we ended up putting the battery packs in the front where the motor would go. The IM225 is actually where the transmission tunnel is. It runs a drive shaft. So it's a rear drive, four nine inch rear end. The good thing about this truck, this truck we found in a field in Georgia, but it was painted brown, doo doo brown and we wet sanded all the paint off of it and this patina was actually what was underneath it. So what we did is we wet sanded everything down, put a flat clear from a company called Hot Rod Flats to get that satin finish on it. Uh, all new chrome, all new trim. We have an in-house upholstery shop, so we actually do all our own interiors. Basically everything's done in-house. This on the left, it's on the cover of EV Builder's Guide. That's our SC31T Resto. It's pretty much everything. It has the Atom Drive six pack system in it, 84 kilowatts, same motor, the IM225, but that white truck pretty much has every option available that you can get. Power windows, power door locks, power assist steering, power brakes, pretty much everything that you could get, that you could buy that was electric, we put it on it. We finished actually the white truck for SEMA. It was at SEMA show last year and uh, we drive them daily. And I usually drive the white truck back and forth to the house. For 2025, we're gonna do two of the patina trucks a year. That's our goal and that's our base. And then the SC31TE, it will be our actual manufactured product, all new parts. We use Dynacorn bodies. We build our own frames in house now, basically four nine inch rear ends. We're also currently working on a GT40 replica race car. It also carries the Atom Drive system, 42 kilowatt rear drive unit with an IDM 190 and an IDM 375. And we just took on order to build a Pikes Peak car out of the GT40. So that will be next year. I tell everybody, this is a room full of a lot of engineers. I'm not an engineer. I'm a car builder. I build cars. I make shit go fast. That's what I do. I have other guys that I hire to do that portion of it. We decided to hire Amper EV. We allow them to handle their part of the system, which are the VCUs and the battery packs and all that. As a matter of fact, we just recently hired our first in-house engineer to kind of be a liaison between us and Amper EV. Our boss had looked for battery component companies. Most of them are on the West Coast, of course. We're in Georgia, so it was kind of hard to find. We were at SEMA in 2022, and we actually ran into the Amper EV guys at SEMA. Found out they were 45 minutes from us. You know, we've been looking all over the damn place. Here they are, right here. So we got together shortly after that, put the first truck package together. We started in January of last year, finished it by May, started on the white truck, finished it by November, and took it to SEMA show. We, in between all that, we had a GT40 that we kind of put together in the middle. With what we've done so far, we've got about five orders on the books. We're five vehicles deep. I've got three of the trucks on order now. Like I just said, I've got a 50 Suburban that we're doing. What we try to do with our builds is we're resto mod guys trying to do is appeal, make everything pretty. You know, we're a manufacturer, so we have to warranty everything. So everything has to look good. It's going to come a time when they're going to want to inspect everything you do. They're not going to allow you to register the vehicles without inspecting them. So if you're a retrofitter, if you're taking some of these parts and you're putting them into other vehicles, in order for you to get a tag and a license and registration, they're going to want to see what you've done. So it's better that you start planning to make sure it's pretty as you go along. A lot of the people that are going to be doing the inspections, they're not going to know what they're looking at. But if you got an exposed wire and they're thinking this is an electric vehicle, they're not going to allow you to register your vehicle. So make sure as you're building these vehicles, you're going through and you're planning what it looks like, what it's going to look like in the end. So let's talk a little bit. GT40, we got the IDM 190 in the back with the Atom Drive 42 kilowatt system again. It's a GT40 replica car. We built the frame, the bodies. We own the molds for the GT40 replica cars. We've already broke two axles. If you see my face, look, I look mean. But 
But if y'all got any questions, anything that y'all need to ask me, I'll help y'all anyway. I'm a businessman, I'm a manufacturing guy, and I'm a hot rod guy. So if y'all need anything, just reach out. All my information will be posted up. The next vehicle up on our docket is gonna be a Blazer, 67 through 72 Blazer, body style, four wheel drive. I have done extensive research for the EPA and for the manufacturer's license. That took me from April of last year till about November, we finally got our manufacturer's license. We've gone through the replica car law pretty extensively. So we understand how the replica car law works and how to kind of get around some of the things that they have in it. Other than that, short and sweet to the point. And look, I'm a hot rod guy, so it's all about for me, how far will it go and how fast will it get there? And that's it. So it doesn't matter what the motor is. Thank you, Dan. Yep, thank you, sir.